everyone welcome back we're gonna play some sims today i've got actually a lot to do in our not so berry challenge we have work to complete <laughs> we got a lot going on but anyway hi everyone hello 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 i think i need to divorce my sims husband today so <laughs> we actually have a lot to worry about so anyway a lot to get done yes <laughs> how am i i'm good elsie elsie thank you for saying that wait elsa sorry Miss Red. <laughs> My bad. I feel bad. Uh, yeah, divorce is on the to-do list. Uh, giving birth is on the to-do list. Much to do today. <laughs> Lots going on. <laughs> I don't know. We have to build a lot of skills and stuff too, but I suppose that's less important, right? The priorities are more uh, <laughs> heartbreak related, maybe. <laughs> Willis and Gabby and Swirly uh, and Carly and Venus and Samantha and Canadian Cass and Cells. Thank you all for the subs. Thank you so much. Um, also, Watcher, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, family drama is more important than skills, right? That's the that's the real goal here. I'm trying to like catch myself back up to speed on what's been going on in this household. I forgot that I got two pets. That seems like a bit of a um, excessive choice. <laughs> But I got two. I got Carrot and I have Prune. Um, also, I named this child Blaze. It's got a ghost room. And my sim is pregnant. So. <laughs> I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Purple dog, orange cat. I don't know. It's just it's kind of nice. <laughs> I love the Not So Very Challenge. It gives you such an excuse to do like the most ridiculous things. Like when else can you use a wallpaper like this? Actually, I apologize. I take that back because I'm I'm not unlikely to use this wallpaper. I've actually used a bunch of ghost wallpapers in my life, but like realistically, when are you gonna use the bright orange swatch? <laughs> How often do you get a chance to use this? If anybody's gonna use it, it's gonna be me, but like, you know. <laughs> Skell and Marlin and Marble and Bree. Um, and Shauna and Brianna and Watcher, thank you for the subs. You get anxiety seeing Simmer's Sims plum bobs on orange or red? Oh, well, my Sim's having a rough time. Um, she's pregnant, and she had a long day of work, and her loved ones keep dying. So, um, that's why she's having a rough time. <laughs> Half of these things I can't control. She only just got home from work, so she's gotta go to bed. But, <laughs> in fact, I think she probably is asleep, yeah. She must have been asleep when, um... I closed the game, so. But yeah, it's not that it's not as bad in The Sims 4 to have an orange plum bob. Back in the olden days, you were a, had a little bit more to worry about. <laughs> Sims 4 is not as like hard in that way, you know. When's the divorce? <laughs> Maybe in the morning. I think my Sim is a bit tired to be divorcing her husband, so I might wait until the morning. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Is she going to have another kid? Oh, she's pregnant. So yeah. We're on our way. <laughs> we are well on our way. Um, also, Sunday and Witch and Frog and Cheyenne and Kels and Eli and Riley, Allie, Alex, Have No Life and Tomatoes and Bay and Skell and Marlin and Marble and Bree. Thank you all for the subs. What are you doing? Okay, you're pooping your pants. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, we're gonna play The Sims 3 tomorrow, Saturday. What day did I say? I post a stream schedule on the Discord with like all our very specific plans, by the way. Tomorrow, we're gonna play Sims 3 tomorrow. That was the plan. So, just like his father. That's true. Blaze gets it from his dad. The uh, pooping on the floor business. <laughs> Today is in fact Thursday. So, <laughs> we'll play uh, Sims 3 tomorrow on Friday. I gotta send everybody else to bed, but it's only like seven, so maybe not. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic with that. Maybe you can start mopping the floor or something. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you could watch some TV. I'm just kind of waiting for these two to die, to be honest. Discord says I'm building tomorrow. Oh, does it? Maybe I wrote it in my own upload schedule backwards based on what I put in the, in the Discord. Let's find out. Oh, Discord says I'm building tomorrow. Well, my spreadsheet says I'm building in The Sims 3 tomorrow. <laughs> I must have had, a, had it written down backwards. Okay, I'm, I'm playing The Sims 3 on Saturday. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. I had it written down wrong in my own. So, at some point, I put the wrong thing somewhere. It doesn't really matter, though. Um, <laughs> so... Okay, guys, can I also just say, I realize that I've put myself in this position, but I've seen so many messages about it, and I'm so overwhelmed. I didn't make a YouTube video today, because I've had a really horrible day, and I was not capable of recording. <laughs> so, it's a good thing I'm here right now, and I'm so sorry that I didn't post on YouTube. Please, I'm literally begging you to stop spamming about it, though, because um, I might cry. <laughs> the, the vibes are, like, not good in my little brain at the moment, so... <laughs> Um, trust me, I feel bad enough. I know you're not trying to make me feel bad, but I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the spam. I'm not cut out for it emotionally. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'll just get my Sim some snacks or something. Clean out the spoiled food. Get some leftovers. Um, okay, okay. <sighs> everyone's eating. Everyone's miserable. What is your problem? Losing control from fear of unfulfilled dreams. I actually don't want to deal with that. This is the thing. I usually let my sims, like, keep the fear of, like, fire or ghosts and stuff. Like, these things seem like, at least they have a reason. Like, oh, there was a bunch of fires in the house. Now they're afraid of fire. You know, they, they see ghosts all the time, so they're scared of ghosts. But, like, the fear of unfulfilled dreams, it shows up so often. And it's so annoying. I don't think that you should be allowed to have that. <laughs> I reject that one. Um, you aren't allowed to fear your dead-end job either. Sorry. I'll cheat it away. <laughs> it's just so annoying. And they don't go away after a while. I feel like they're trying to influence, like, gameplay of trying to get the fears to go away. But when they have so many of them, like, it's just so annoying. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. So, um, anyway. <laughs> I try to avoid it. So, and by avoid it, I mean I usually try and just cheat it away. I have um, a mod called uh, UI Cheats Extension. It's how I'm able to cheat those things away, by the way. Um, I use that mod a lot. If you ever see me just like clicking on things to do a cheat, that's what the mod called UI Cheats Extension. It's super useful. You can even cheat like the time. You can cheat your Sims money with it. Um, you can just basically click on the UI to do cheats. It's super, super good. You can also like click and drag your Sims needs uh. with it, um, which is pretty uh. useful. So if you ever see me using that, you're like, oh my God, how did she do that? UI cheats, lifesaver. <laughs> Especially for things like, honestly, I use it a lot for um, like, believe it or not, building in The Sims. Cause you know when you're trying to take like a nice screenshot or like make the build lo not look terrible on the gallery, I like sometimes will change the game time or like change the weather and stuff um, specifically to make it like not cloudy and brighter in the sun. <laughs> um, so that way it like looks better when I'm building. Um, so that can be kind of useful too. It's, it's good for a lot of reasons, even beyond just like cheating, you know? <laughs> Um, obviously the cheating part is useful too, but <laughs> it serves multiple purposes, at least for me. <laughs> What's the sign in the kitchen? Is what, what does it do? Oh, this is a no pooping sign. Um, and this is here because my sim pooped on the floor. So I have a sign telling them to not poop on the floor because it's annoying um, when they do that, as you can maybe possibly imagine, so. Is that in the game? Yeah, it's actually a, a sign from Cats and Dogs. It normally looks like this though, but I put it, like I scooted it into the wall. You can kind of see it there. Um, but it's not a mod, it's just a sign. <laughs> it's just a funny meme, guys. My sim peed on the floor and he's lactose intolerant, so he got this little pop-up that was like, I just couldn't hold it anymore. So I thought it was trying to tell me that he pooped on the floor because of the lactose intolerant trait. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just funny. There's not like a deep meaning behind this sign. It doesn't do anything gameplay wise. It's just funny. <laughs> um, it's just funny. Yeah, I know you can turn off wants and fears, guys, but I, I like the wants and I like some of the fears. I just don't like all of the fears. Does that make sense? Um, we have a new dog. Yeah, the old one, our old pet died. So I got two new ones. I got this cat named Carrot for the orange gen, and I got this dog named Prune for the purple gen. So, that's what I've been up to. <laughs> that happened, I think, at like towards the end of the last stream. Um, 
because that was when the pet died. It was very upsetting, actually. I did almost cry, but I got over it fast. So. <laughs> Danny, Sydney, and Yenny, and Cylon, and Rosa, and Simply, and Jazzy, uh, Lisa, Angie, Stacy, Lynn, Fatty, and Heaven, and Lena, and Babs, uh, and Krista, and Royal, and Peter, Jubilant, Kaylin, Yuka, Grace, Cute Bone, Bethy, Brina, thank you, Little Wolf, all the subs and bits and stuff, Rogue with the gifted subs, Anna, Marisa, Ray, Enda, and Simmer, and Yenisee, and Emma, and Over, and Miss, and Con, and Sugar, and Nikki, and Superbia, and Naomi, and Sunday, thank you all so much for the subs and stuff, I really appreciate that. Um, you are all very, very kind. Okay. Sim just, like, walked up to my front door and then walked away. <laughs> what do you think they wanted? We shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Let your sims be happy for once? What, because I'm going to divorce the husband? I have to divorce the husband, you know. That is like a specific rule of this generation of the Not So Berry Challenge. If you have to divorce someone and then get remarried to the same sim. Um, so even if I even if I wanted my sim to be happy, um, someone named Lil Simsy wrote this dumb challenge called the Not So Berry Challenge, and now we gotta divorce our husband. So <laughs> we'll get back with him though. Just not yet. <laughs> Chloe, Rebecca, Zoe, Clara, Drew, thank you for the subs. All right, everyone sleep through the night, please. We didn't do anything for the holiday. Oops. Oops. I wonder who did that. Yeah, I wonder who this Lil Simsy person is that wrote the rules of this challenge. What a weird idea she had. <sighs> Doing Among Us for your mom's birthday. Is it your mom's birthday? <laughs> That's funny. We're gonna play Among Us on the 18th. Um, so like, not this Saturday, but you know. Next one. <laughs> next one. If you make some households for my next gen. Well, you know, keeping in mind that I, I usually just grab them off the gallery sort of randomly. Um, if you wanted to make households and put them on the gallery with the hashtag look little simsy, I'll definitely look on there. But I feel like I should clarify that I don't want to be like, yes, I'll specifically download yours. Because then what about everybody else? <laughs> You know, and then I would feel bad, so I usually just try and grab them um, randomly and stuff to give everybody, like, a fair shot. Because I would feel a bit guilty being like, yes, I will do yours, but not yours, <laughs> you know? Like, that's just, um, I would feel bad if somebody made sims and then, I don't know. We just kind of, like, grab random big households off the gallery when I when I place them down, so. Um, Kayla, you, yeah, I use Christine's, um, Christine made brand, but that's a uh, mod privilege right there, I think. <laughs> Uh, Christine, Christine has, uh, the unfortunate situation of being forced to be a mod, uh, so I, you know, use her sims. Is Carrot stuck? No, I think Carrot's just hanging out. So. <laughs> Ever think about the cost of the toilet paper being paying for the holder? Do you know, Katie, people say that sometimes when, when discussing the, um, 50 simoleon toilet paper holder. But the thing is, obviously, maybe that makes sense, sure. But the, the reason that I am so annoyed by this is not necessarily the fact that it's 50 simoleons and that's like so high for toilet paper. I mean, it kind of is. But in The Sims 3, the same thing was two simoleons. So like, that's really shaped my perception of this. Like, like growing up, toilet paper costs two simoleons and then now it's 50. Inflation is horrible. <laughs> I don't know, The Sims 4 has really weird costs. Like, you could sit here and be like, oh, it's infinite toilet paper. Okay, well, this is infinite soap. It's only 10. This is infinite laundry detergent. It's 25. You know, like, I... Anyway, Sims 4 is so weird. And then you, like, look at some of the windows, and, like, this window's 25. It's a window. Toilet paper is double the price. You know? Like, that's that's more so the, the question. The game is just weird with pricing. <laughs> and of course it is, because it's just a game, and like, you know, things are weird, but um, that's, that's why we kind of joke about it, is those two things. Genuinely, in my brain, the reason it's annoying is comparatively the cost of Windows and the cost of The Sims 3 toilet paper. So... <laughs> That's why. 
Okay. Okay. You are getting some snacks. You need to shower. We have to feed the child as well. Oh my god. And bathe the child. Okay. Okay. Grab a serving. <laughs> okay. Did The Sims 2 and 3 have more realistic prices? I honestly don't remember a lot about The Sims 3 pricing, aside from the toilet paper stuff. That's one of the only things that really sticks out to me from The Sims 3 pricing. <laughs> and I'm not even being dramatic, I'm actually not exaggerating. That is one of the only things that I remember specifics of. Are you coming downstairs? No? Do you need me to like teleport you downstairs? Cause I will. Just to make my life easier. Here, eat. Okay, I'm gonna have to bathe him. Oh my god, there's more poop on the floor! Hang on, I kinda wanna get like a screenshot. Wait. <laughs> I wanna get a screenshot of the poop with the like, don't poop sign. Okay, sorry. Sorry, it was all about the screenshots. I'll sell it. Don't worry. <laughs> Not on the countertop, Kayla! <laughs> Bexy and Flint and Vivia and Maine and Eloise, um, Aziza, Katie, Amy, Ginny, Lassie, thank you for the subs too, everybody. I really appreciate that. Ew, they eat there! What are you doing? Put the kid down! He was gonna eat! This is what's so- No! This is what's so annoying about you. Oh, he doesn't need to eat. Oh, did he already eat? Okay, he needs a bath. Sorry, false alarm. Do you have work today? No. Okay. Where's the bathtub? Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sanitation is not a priority in this household. <sighs> we shouldn't be surprised. Oh, the dog needs a bath too. I should have stuck to the cat. This is terrible. Yeah, Manny, I've had this light projector thing for so many generations. I got given this by Santa once, like, years ago. And now I've always had it. It's just kind of a fun little, uh, touch, you know? <laughs> so yeah, my Sims have, like, always had that, yes. To answer your question. Okay, do you want to... Potty train the kid next? I... Regret having a toddler. Oh, you're gonna pee your pants. Uh-oh. Well, what can be done? We'll potty train the kid first. If we pee on the floor, we pee on the floor. Whatever. <laughs> Spooky Orca and Deadly and Bexy and Flint. Thank you for the subs. Oh, she did pee on the floor. <sighs> on the carpet as well. That's rough. Why'd you have to do that? Like, that seems like it was a bad idea, but... Okay. I'm gonna bathe the dog quickly. Come on. Will you? Please? Please? Teaching a kid to use the potty while peeing on the floor right in front of them. You know, when you put it that way... That is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it does seem like pretty bad potty training, huh? Okay, well, it's too late. <laughs> um, what trimester is she in? Good question. We're in the third trimester. Oh no. Can I get rid of this lifestyle too? Because it's just annoying how she's going to be in a bad mood all the time. I don't want to deal with it. And the kid peed on the floor. I mean, he's just learning from, <laughs> from his parents, huh? Okay, after I finish taking care of the kid, or of the dog, I mean, I'm gonna divorce my husband. It's been a long time coming. He pooped on the floor like twice. Um, so if you're missing it, if you if you didn't understand what ha what has happened here, we're playing the Not So Berry Challenge, and one of the rules of this generation is that you have to divorce and then later get remarried to the same Sim. Um, and so what's happening right now? is I'm divorcing him no, really? so that later I can get back together with him. So, don't worry. <laughs> oh, oh <yeah. laughs> don't worry. Oh, so Bye, Bran. 
He's not gonna like me, is he? Resentful about to- Oh no! <laughs> Deeply in love, but resentful about the divorce? Um, I gaze lovingly at new spouse. Oh my gosh, should I do that? What do you think will happen? Wait, I'm gonna apologize to him. Look, I didn't mean it. I'm just non-committal. I'm not ready for this kind of commitment yet. Wait, are you serious? It let me gaze lovingly at him? Well, we can still be friends. Preferably good friends. Check hotness? Should I do that? <laughs> he must be so confused right now. <laughs> I'm giving him a lot of mixed signals. Did it work? Well, we'll find out. Oh my god, he's feeling flirty. <gasps> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I just divorced you! Oh no. I am really giving this guy mixed signals, aren't I? Um, We like immediately get remarried. <laughs> we get back with him right away. No, I like the idea actually. Kind of the thought that I had was that maybe we could live separately for a little bit, but like still be seeing each other. <laughs> I learned that Bran is single. Wow, really? <laughs> but maybe we could like still, you know, just just like hang out. Maybe we could have a baby together. We could like get pregnant again. We're, we're already pregnant, but we could get pregnant again or something like in our time apart. Oh my God. These two are made for each other. How is this happening? Like actually, how is this working? Oh my god, she has to pee again. Here, go pee. <laughs> we have like a friends with benefits thing going on, exactly. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Do you think I can woohoo him? I would feel really great about woohooing this guy on the same day that we divorced him. Also, I'm having that issue again um, just now. Remember how uh, a few days ago during our baking stream, I was having the issues with the chat, like not connecting. I cannot see the chat right now. It's like permanently connecting. So I don't even know if you're here. <laughs> it was there a second ago, now it's not. So I don't know. We had this problem loads the other day on stream. Uh, if this is gonna happen a lot right now, I'm really not here for it, Twitch. <laughs> oh, it connected. I can see four chat messages. Wait, wait, they're coming back, they're coming back. Okay, maybe we're fine. You know who's probably not fine? Bran. <laughs> you see me? Okay, good, okay, good. If that happens a lot today, I don't know if I can take that, honestly. I'm not, like, prepared for that, Twitch. <laughs> It has been a long day. I don't need this too. Okay, let me see if I can feed the kid. Let me see if I can feed the kid. Grab a serving. Is that fish? Fancy meals for the child. Oh, it's an awkward encounter. No, it's steamy. It's steamy. You just go up to random people on the street and ask their romantic preferences. How rude. Random people on the street. Sorry, did you forget that? Oh my God. Did you forget that we were married this morning? Like that we still live together? That I'm pregnant with your baby? Is that like a thing that slipped your mind maybe? Okay, I'm almost there. I'm gonna woohoo him tonight, just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait. I will woohoo this guy today. And then he, yeah, that's the thing. He was like random people, and then he kissed me. 
the normal shape. Nope. <laughs> I want to get the red bar away. I would really like that. That's kind of my goal right now. Don't. Stay talking to each other, please. Please, please. What are you doing? Do you want to play in this? Probably a bunch to build some skills. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> What is the check hotness option? Huh? It's a thing that you get from the doctor career. Um, it's a like thing that you unlock from the doctor career. It's not like a real thing. It's like she can like <laughs> kind of brag about being a doctor and like check her husband's hotness. <laughs> it's like a flirty thing. She's it's like a pickup line, a doctor pickup line, you know. Attempt to seduce. Kiss. Blow a kiss. Come on, the, the red's almost gone. <laughs> oh, he's sad again. That's so inconvenient. It's an awkward encounter as well. Gaze lovingly at new spouse. Congratulate on marriage. That can't be a good idea. It feels like I'm making fun of him. Thought they fixed the bug where Sims move in pause mode. Yeah, they said that. In my actual experience. They said that, but... <laughs> they did not. So... This is cute. Do it again. I don't think we're gonna be able to woohoo tonight. I really want to, but they're both getting kind of, or at least she's getting kind of hungry. Oh my god, she's miserable. Ugh. We might not have time to woohoo. I'm so confused. Is Lil Simsy reading this chat? Friend, why wouldn't I be? I saw you ask that question a few times. What would what would the point of streaming be if I <laughs> if I wasn't reading the chat? <laughs> um, you asked it like five times. I saw each time, just so you know. <laughs> Charlie, thank you for the prime sub, and Izzy and Sharpie, thank you for the subs, and, and Nikki with the gifted subs, Jupiter, and Mixie, and Bacon, and Legs, and Nikolai, and Tal, thank you for the subs, too. Um, I just don't read everything out loud. Sometimes I don't think it's, like, necessarily worth um, reading out loud or, like, you know, whatever. So it's it's impossible to actually say everything out loud or respond to everything, but I see it, so. Except for a few minutes ago when my chat was glitched. <laughs> that I wasn't seeing anything, but that's not new. That was happening the other day, too, thanks to Twitch, so. Um, are you serious? <laughs> Put it out. It's fine. This is really ruining the vibes. Put the fire out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? Think for one second. Put the fire out. Oh my god. Did you, like... Who does something like that? What would possess you to just sit there and stare at it? Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Okay, so uh, we're not gonna be woohooing tonight. <laughs> Despite my best efforts, there'll be no woohoo on this day. I don't really want to move Bran out yet either. I will move Bran out, but I would like Bran to at least live here um, when the baby is born. Like, I don't want him to move out before the kid is born, so... Um, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of waiting for the birth. <laughs> um, hold on. Okay. Um, one sec. Okay. Sorry, I was responding to Moop trying to help me, um, <laughs> troubleshoot the chat breaking issue, but, um, it won't help fix it. Um, I think it's a it's a Twitch wide issue. So Dan was having the problem too the other day as well, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I know that's the thing, Christine. It's nice to have him live here permanently, but also like I want to have like less Sims in the household. 
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I sort of had the thought that maybe I could move him out for a little bit, at least until some of the, the grandparents die, just because I was a little bit overwhelmed by the number of Sims in the household, but I don't know. I might make Bran's room green. I don't really want to decorate it, though. I'm gonna need this room for the baby. When the baby comes. Okay, you can go to sleep. Uh, you go in there. How long till baby comes? She's in her third trimester, so any second. Murphy bed for him? I guess we could do something like that. I don't know. I'm not gonna move him out yet. I want to wait a few days. I want to wait a few days anyway, so. And maybe by then I'll have gotten back together with him. Who knows? But... I'm just overwhelmed. Are they divorced? Yeah, they got divorced in game oh, a few minutes ago. Uh, today they got divorced. Okay, we're having a baby. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> um, I told you it was happening any minute, and I was not kidding. <laughs> I was not kidding. So the other kid that we have is named Blaze. We're kind of going with like an orange theme. I had previously really liked the name Clementine. Someone in chat just said Cheeto, so that's not helpful. Ember could be kind of fun. Amber. Um, Ginger. I don't know. <laughs> we'll think once it happens. What do you guys think? Pumpkin? That is kind of cute, too. I don't know. I can't name it Cheeto. And I can't name it Cheese. That seems... I, well, I have a sim named Raisin, so... Garfield? Huh. You know, Garfield is kind of funny. <laughs> Ed Sheeran? Oh my god. I don't know. I think Garfield is funny. I'm sort of stuck between Garfield and Cheese. Maybe cheddar? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll do Garfield. Maybe we can name the next one cheese. Garfield. Please don't be twins. Oh, okay. I was scared it was gonna be twins. It wasn't, luckily. Um, I'm gonna put the baby in Bran's room so that Bran can worry about this. My poor Sam Raisin is having a really hard time, so I think she should be allowed to just sleep and not have to take care of the baby. Personally, that's how I feel at least. This can be a you problem, bottle feed and everything. Oh, the poor guy, I dumped him and now this is happening. <laughs> this is the baby's room though, he's gonna live in- this is the baby's room, I don't know. Wasn't there an update today? Like a Sims update today? No. No. Name it Colby Jack with the next one? Hmm. Oh, I guess it depends if we want a third kid or not. I think I would like to have a baby while we're not with him. Like, now that we're divorced, I think it would be fun to have a baby, like, while we're separated. You know? I'm trying to decide if I want him to leave or not. Maybe I don't. Maybe it would be fun. I don't know. I just, I can't tell. Is it crying again? Oh my god. You're in for a rough night. No, with him. Like, we would have a, we would have a kid with him while, while we're divorced. And then we'll get back together with him. Well, we are going to anyway, that's the challenge, but. Are you gonna take care of the cat? No? Okay. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, the problem is we have eight sims right now, so we have to kind of wait until somebody dies. Because I got tricked into having another pet. So. <laughs> no offense, but kill Eric. Do you think? I mean, it's an idea. What if this is spoiled? Not that. 
Not that, not that, not that. Eggs Benedict is spoiled. Okay. No poor Eric. Mm. I'm not really like that worried about him. So. I don't know. How many days does he have left? I guess I could check. Hang on, wake up. Oh, and do you want to bathe the dog while you're at it? Please. We're playing on normal lifespan though right now, so he has like a while left. Five. That's not too bad. We could probably wait that one out. We can wait that one out. I feel like that would be okay. All right, let's wait it out. Work for raisin starts in an hour. <gasps> Does it? Oh no. Oh my God. No, 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 come watch TV. We can eat at work, but you can't fix this. Get the fun up, quick. What, can you not? No! What is it because of them? Watch current movie. Oh my god, this is your dad's fault! <sighs> oh my god. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ornery and OG and Dasha and Revenge and Crossing and Luna and, and Steelers. Thank you for the subs too. Who is Eric? Oh, Eric is uh, my previous gen's husband and one of the current gen's dads. So, I think she should have a little bit extra because if her stupid dad hadn't interrupted me, she would have had more fun. That's how I feel. Okay, I'm gonna eat my snack. I'm gonna try and eat my snack fast. How long does Grave have? Oh, you think Grave will have less time. In fact, Grave has probably loads of time. Because Grave has the, um, what's it called? The gym, no. The long-lived thing, because he finished the bodybuilder aspiration, so Grave's gonna live forever. The guy has like a million bonus days. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> like, he actually has a million bonus days. All right. A swab for sample, scan body. He's gonna have so many days. Um, he's gonna be like here forever, so. Okay, check a patient's eyes. Oh, did I fail to swab for the sample? Let's try that again. Swap for sample, discuss general health. Your gray gen died long after your purple gen, and the purple gen died of old age. Yeah. Like, he's gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Take patient's temperature. Weak diagnosis available. Okay. Medical referral, treadmill test. Yeah? Come on, let's do a treadmill test. Get a move on. Your gray gen and purple gen die within a week of each other. Oh my goodness. We are on, good question, we're on level six of the medical career at the moment. Okay. Uh, do you want to refer for an x-ray scan while you're over here, please? Thank you. What is the next gen? It's the orange gen. We're going to be a criminal that loves to bake. No, we don't need to max this career, but it is kind of fun to get it high up, you know? Alright. Examine patient. Discuss general health again. Compelling diagnosis. I don't know which one you have. Maybe I'll go analyze the patient's sample quickly. Just to get it over with. Gray will end up living with Orange Gen. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> At this rate, I wouldn't be surprised. Simon Rio, thank you for the subs. Log the sample analysis results. 
Yeah, Raisin's gonna need to change her job later. Um, as soon as she becomes an adult, she's a young adult, so when she ages up, she's gonna have to, uh, join the entertainer career. We have, like, a bit of a midlife crisis, um, and switch to the entertainer career. So. If Bran dies before you remarry, do you lose the challenge? You know, Bestie, I don't really think of it as being that deep. Like, I mean, what, you're just gonna, like, end the the game because oh, yeah. a sim died outside of your control you know like there's it's you know do whatever you want is kind of my thought process if they die then it kind of sucks for the storyline but whatever <laughs> you know like and you can marry the ghost or something if you really wanted to just do what sparks joy okay what do you think he has sweaty shivers or llama flu because i don't know what else to help him with i already did everything I'll do shivers. Hope I'm right. Bless. Let's see. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna get in big trouble at work. Oh, Patient cured! Okay, good. That's a relief. <laughs> that is a relief. Okay, do you wanna... I guess we could scan a patient in the x-ray machine, yeah? Oh, you can be treated? Oh no, I was gonna say, that's weird. X-ray scan, let's go. Let's go. Brand dying would be funny. I don't think he will, we don't need to worry about it too much. <laughs> uh, Cece and Ham and Julia and Simon, thank you for the subs too. Check a patient's eyes, okay. Admit patient, no wait, you know what? Actually, do you wanna try and do a treadmill test? Oh, I think I'm gonna have to send her all the way back and then do it again. I'm just thinking maybe I'll do it while I'm over here. You know, maybe I'll stay late today. See if I can get her successfully diagnosed and treated, you know? Come on, back to bed. I kind of like the doctor career. I think it's kind of fun. Check a patient's... Oh. Guaranteed diagnosis. Oh. Well, that's easy. I can at least fix you. I'll have to analyze the patient's sample, though, so I can finish the workday. Whew. Okay. That'll be good. We don't have to go to work, like, in the active career again for a while, so that'll be kind of nice. There we go. How much longer do I have? An hour and a half. Hmm. Maybe I'll tell a joke to the doctor or something. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, now I'm exhausted? Oh no. <laughs> do you wanna play a game until you finish work? Just cause I'm here? I don't know, we got an hour. See if you can get some fun up. Oh wow. That feels like... <laughs> that went up really fast. <laughs> that doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> Mads, thank you for the sub too, huh? Huh. Sure. I guess we'll just go home then. Maybe I can try and woohoo my ex-husband while I'm there. It's not a renovated one, Jessica. I, I, um, I built this hospital from scratch, the one that we were playing in just then. Um, okay. Use the bathroom. Probably get some food. Can someone like bathe the dog? Give Prune a bath. What are you up to, little guy? Playing? Do you want to work on this more? Try this. Is it base game, the hospital? Um, it's that hospital that I was using. It's not base game, because you have to have get to work to use a hospital. Um, it's base game and get to work, though. 
if that answers your question. Come on, eat your snacks. Okay, do you want to take care of the baby? I have too many sims, I'm stressing myself out. How's Raisin's skill progression going? She's doing pretty well. Um, we need to get, so for the Not So Berry Challenge, let me put the rules up so that you guys can see the link if you want. Um, but for the Not So Berry Challenge, uh, in this generation, we have to do a lot of skill building. Um, you need to master the dance skill and two other skills, and then achieve at least level eight in six skills. Um, so you can see we mastered the dance skill, we mastered cooking, we mastered gourmet cooking. Um, we've also mastered wellness, so that's one of six. Um, we're working on video gaming, we're getting up there. Uh, we're working on handsiness, we've already got that. Logic, guitar, um, and fishing, we're level eight. So we just need really guitar and video gaming. And then we'll have like all the skills that we need technically for, that's not your bed. Then we'll have all the skills that we technically need for um, the challenge. So that'll be good. Okay. Feed the dog. I think the dog, oh, is out of food. Yeah, you're right. Uh-oh. Yeah, MC Command Center is a mod, Emma, so unfortunately you can't get it on console, but it is pretty handy to have. What are you doing? Oh, okay, so he won't feed the dog. I am so, so over this. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want a super efficient baby care? Yeah? Thank you. I'm cheating your energy down. You have too much. Why are you in that bed? That's not even your bed. What is happening? That's like the second time she slept in the wrong bed. This is a weird game. Okay. You know, guys, Blabby. Blabby. this is a lot. Ah. Do you wanna just walk away? Just walk away. Come up here. It's fine. You, buddy? No, 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 don't pick up Rand. Stop. Did you extinguish it? I was kind of hoping that he would die, but he didn't. It's okay though. We'll get him next time. <laughs> when is the last time you enjoyed playing The Sims, Kayla? Um, Nerf, friend, I, I don't know if you're joking, but I think you might have misunderstood my, my joking frustrations. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> In case it wasn't clear, I don't actually hate this game. It's hilarious that this is happening. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> if I wasn't, I wouldn't have a fire toilet anymore. I would delete it if it was actually causing me that much stress. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> if it wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing it. Meg, Chloe, Meg, thank you for the subs. Oh no, it's almost the kid's birthday. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Everyone sleep through the night. Hopefully we can make it. Maybe I could schedule this to come back a little bit more frequently because the we have a lot of pets now, so. And sometimes even like the ghost animals eat from there, so. Can Eric and Grave take photos before you end him? He's got time, he's not gonna die yet, don't worry. Everyone's really worried about them having like a couple photos. I don't really care that much about um about Eric. <laughs> but um we can get some pictures, I guess. I'm just not that worried about it. <laughs> Use the bathroom, go to sleep. You go back to sleep too. Oh no. Do you have work tomorrow? No, we're off tomorrow. Okay, so we can try and like Maybe I could age up the baby. What happened to Eric's daughter? Oh, she aged up and moved out a long time ago, Jackson. Um, her name was Bonnie, uh, and Bonnie aged up and moved out like ages ago. She currently lives with her sisters, Wisteria and Blakely, who I aged up and moved out because I didn't want them. 
So there was a lot of us, <laughs> uh, but obviously there's not enough space in the household. So um, she had to move out so that we would have space in the household. Um, we always do that. We always, um, you know, Christine, I think I decided that I didn't want Bonnie to get married. I think intentionally I decided that. Um, that was kind of my thought process on it, at least. Okay. Ah! Use the bathroom. You wanted to divorce your sim? I did. He and her divorced. Um... Why did you divorce him? Just curious. Because I have to. <laughs> We're playing the not so berry challenge. One of the most important rules of generation five is get divorced and then later remarry to the same sim. It's part of the challenge. It's also just kind of fun. Not that divorce is fun, but it is a little fun to get divorced and remarry to the same guy. So. <laughs> Um, it doesn't- we don't have to wait any amount of time to remarry him, Jessica. We could do it now if we wanted to, but I- I would prefer to hold off a little bit for the storyline, because it's more fun. So. Well, who's calling? Catherine has passed away. Okay. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. I have to give the dog a bath again. And the dog keeps rolling in puddles. And we have a lot of puddles because we have a lot of ghost sims that drown, so they drip. Um, it's kind of rough. There's just mess everywhere all the time. So. <sighs> okay, I got some retirement money. That's good. Brand starts work in an hour. Do you want to take care of the baby? Bottle feed, rock, make a silly face, shush. Okay. Bran, you need level two of the handiness skill. Bran, do you want to take the day off today? So that you can try and woohoo your ex-wife? Because that's what I would like to do, actually. If I'm being completely honest. And then I can work on the handiness skill a little bit, too. That seems like a good priority. <laughs> Hire a maid? Friend, we have one hired. There's still puddles everywhere. Um, every morning, there's a very large amount of puddles because I have a very large amount of ghosts. So. <laughs> um, it's not as simple as you might think. Sure, the puddles do get cleaned eventually, but they're also there for a while. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, okay. Ah! Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, do you want to try and, like... Well, I guess you need to sleep in a little bit longer, and then maybe I'll try and do some upgrading. I feel like that might be a good use of our time. Let me order some upgrade parts. Has there been a grave count recently? Yeah, we have a command for it. There's 88 of them. I, I recently uh, found three graves on a lot, and I brought them all home with me, so that really upped the number. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a lot, so. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these upgrade parts, because I think I'm gonna make him just spend some time trying to upgrade. Because you can upgrade some of these little ones, right? Or no, do you not need, have any handiness skill? <sighs> okay. Time to get to work. Craft a horse sculpture, how about that? Blaze is very hungry, okay. Well then get some food. Come down here. Anyway, as I was telling you all, I do have a maid, but we still have a lot of puddles around the house a lot of the time, see? Okay. Yeah, and they were descendants of the Bell family. So you know how on my YouTube channel, I have um, a household called the Bell Family that I have like a let's play of. I placed those sims in this save a while ago. It isn't like the same. I play them in different save files, obviously, but I placed like the sims off the gallery in here for a little bit. Um, and the graves that I found were like many time descendants of the Bells. So I brought them home. Cause like, I, how am I just gonna leave you guys there? You know? That would be terrible. I would never. 
Ring lock. So. <laughs> you want me to build a lot with a very luxurious graveyard? You know, friend, people always tell me to build a graveyard, but I think what you're missing is, is that I really enjoy using my graves to fill in the entirety of the front of my lot. There's something about this that is so funny to me. Like, I don't want to put them on a real graveyard. <laughs> I like them filling up the entire yard. <laughs> the front yard is the graveyard. It's just really amusing. It always scares people when they come to the stream as well. They're like, oh my god, what is that? And then I get to be like, oh, what's what? Oh, my graves? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and I find it very amusing. So I like to like pile them up like that just because it's funny to me. So. I wouldn't- I wouldn't get rid of it, just because I like it. Play inside. Come on. How are you doing skill-wise now? Nope, still not there? Okay. Nope. No, when we have to live in the Needs TLC apartment, I think I'll leave the graves on, like, the main family house, and then we'll come back for them. Um, or put them in the inventory or something because I don't know if I can if I can do it in the needs TLC apartment I like while I would love to um, I, I don't think that there's enough space for them in the apartments, but maybe Maybe I guess we could like have a bedroom for them or something. <laughs> I don't know um, Okay Resume knife block come on There we go level two handiness skill would you like to grab some of the food that I made? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Excellent. Yeah, some of the apartments have balconies, Jake, but this doesn't fit. The balcony in that one in um, the Spice District is probably about this big. So, there's not an- I think you guys are underestimating how many graves I have. I have a lot of graves. This is serious business, okay? <laughs> serious, serious business. Um, but the, that apartment that has the balcony is pretty big, so there might be room for a grave bedroom. The problem is, in the orange gen, so... You need to live in the Needs TLC apartment for your entire young adult life. So, we're gonna have kids, but I guess... You only have twins, like you're supposed to have just the one set of twins and like not other kids, so we'll only have two kids. So we could probably fit in like just a two bedroom place, which might be okay in the Needs TLC apartment. Like I could probably fit the Sims and a room for the graves. I haven't thought about it too much yet, the grave situation, so. I've been really preoccupied with, um, this current gen's problems and not thinking about the next gen's problems, you know? <laughs> okay. uh, I've been thinking about this one. Okay. It would be cool if Orange Gen was a single parent. This is the thing though. You say that, and I've had a lot of single parents in this household, okay? I mean, you could probably imagine. But like, sometimes you need help, you know? <laughs> Sometimes you need help, and I might need help. <laughs> so I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, I need to keep romancing you. Attempt to seduce. Uh, ask risque question. Check hotness again. That seems to go over pretty well. Oh my god, we're gonna have it fixed. We're gonna be woohooing again in no time. Oh. It's working, it's working. Ooh. Okay. Embrace. Attempt to seduce. Blow a kiss. We're gonna woohoo, just you wait. Just you wait. Sexy pose. Don't ask to be boyfriend, I'm not ready for that yet. I just want to woohoo. So, so. <gasps> woohoo with Bran. Yes. Yes! <laughs> wow, 
Why is one sim pure white? Well, he's actually gray. Uh, his mom was an alien. And he's part of the gray generation of not so very. So, he's half alien. Um, okay. Imagine if she got pregnant from Risky Woohoo with that. I've got, um, no we didn't. I've got, my MC Command Center does extend the household size. I just, I'm not gonna have like nine saves in the household because that'll be too much. We won't be able to go into cast and stuff, which would be a problem. So I wouldn't actually do it, but we could. Risky Woohoo is not base game. It's it's part of MC Command Center. You have to download another additional like add-on to MC Command Center called MC Woohoo. And then you can use Risky Woohoo percentages on there. Um, yeah, I don't want to have more than eight sims. I'll, I won't have another kid until one of the grandparents is dead. So. Archer and Simmer in Brooklyn, thank you for the subs too. Okay. Do you want to like pet the dog. I'm scared they're gonna run away, so I feel like I should make more of an effort with them. Talk to, pet, talk to. Come on. No? You don't want to? Okay. Praise. Pet. I don't think I can, because the cat is, like, up there. Maybe if I call it over. Are you stuck? <sighs> Clean out spoiled food, get leftovers. Whatever. I'll just ignore it. <laughs> I guess I won't talk to the cat, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, you're getting a little bit tired. You could probably just go to sleep. I can force you to be a little bit tired. <gasps> They're sleeping in the same bed again! Drama! Oh my goodness. How exciting. How exciting. Where should I put the baby? I wanted to bring it upstairs so it would be easier to take care of. Well, I didn't even- or maybe I did tell them to, I don't remember. But they're sleeping in the same bed, so. Oops, forgot about you. Oh no, here, do you want to come talk to this thing? I have too many sims. I'm doing a bad job taking care of, um all my sims, because I'm a little overwhelmed by, like, the sheer number of sims that I have. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think that Raisin is realizing her divorce was a mistake. I, I think she's regretting it, and, and sort of wanting to, um, maybe get back together with him. So... Leave the baby in the hallway? No, I'll put it in its own room once it gets a little bit older. It's just easier if, like, the baby starts crying if I don't have to go all the way downstairs to take care of it. You know? Okay, you're in bed. Everyone's asleep again. We save the game. Whew. Stressful. But we got this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Alright. Back to bed. You're miserable. You're not. You move yours up and down stairs. Do you do that when it starts crying? You like move it up and down the stairs? That's actually really funny. It's Garfield's birthday. Oh, we can age it up in the morning. Come on, super efficient baby care, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we'll have another baby, but we just don't have any space in the household right now, so. I don't want to. Are we gonna see the new kids update before we will start creating the pink gen? Um, yeah, I think it's very likely that this sim, Blaze, will be the first sim that I, like, my, my first of my long time sims that will have babies with the baby update. Or maybe not. Depending on how fast we play this. I don't know, but maybe Blaze's kids will be the first with the baby update. We're on normal lifespan, so the, they're gonna be a teen for a long time. And if we're getting close, we can just like wait, you know? We don't have to have kids until the update's out if we're getting close to it. So, it's only a month left, 
So I think I think that it probably will be his kids first. Um, yeah, I think Blaze is going to be the heir. It's sort of like a nod to the fire toilet that we have with the name. So <laughs> is Baby going to have kids with the update? No, Melissa, I think Baby's going to have kids way too soon for that. Um, I think that my Sim Baby and my YouTube Let's Play is going to have kids way too soon for that. And I don't, we play on short lifespans, so like... I can't wait. Baby will literally die <laughs> if, we, if we don't have kids. Like, like she'll get too old um, in my YouTube Let's Play. And I'm not just going to not post it for a month. Like, that is stupid. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll have babies. Babies will be the first ones with the baby update, probably. You know? Um, that's right. Blaze has to have twins. I had forgotten about that. That'll be funny. Is the whole update coming on March 14th? Like, the whole baby update? Yeah. Um, they're not gonna, like, split it up into parts or anything. <laughs> um, I mean, they might have to do, like, a bug fix update afterward, but that's not related. That would be, you know, they're gonna give the update on the 14th, so. Twin infants. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. We're gonna be in for it, aren't we? That's gonna be rough. Okay. Come on, go back to bed. It's only 4 a.m. Sleep. Back by Archer Simmer Brooklyn. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Name baby's baby adult. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine? All right. You're getting hungry. Um. Okay. Get leftovers. Oops. Oops. Sorry. That was my phone. Um, I dropped it earlier. I didn't realize it came off silent. <laughs> Oops. Oops. All right. You're eating. Replace that. Oh my god. These ghosts are unbelievable. If you pre-order the pack, do you get babies? Okay, so Cell, um, the babies, like the infant stuff, infants are coming in a free base game update. So... It's got nothing to do with the pack. Um, you don't have to pay for the babies. Everybody's gonna get babies. That's a free base game update, just like how toddlers were. It's gonna be the exact same thing, but it's babies instead of toddlers. Does that make sense? Um, they didn't like put toddlers in a pack. Um, and then the pack is probably gonna have some extra stuff for the babies, cool. kind of like how we got a toddler stuff pack that had more stuff, but everybody has toddlers, you know? Um, so that's how it works. The pre-order rate doesn't have anything to do with it. When you pre-order things for The Sims, you don't get like early access or anything like that, that sometimes um, major games will do. Although in the most recent expansion packs, they have been doing like a pre-order bonus thing um, and giving you a couple extra items. So from my understanding, the items that are extra in this pack, it's a swing set, a slide, and an extra baby carrier. Um, but everybody gets a baby carrier, right? But you'll get an extra one if you if you buy the pack in a reasonable amount of time. So uh -huh. that's how it works. Some lovely bonus items. I don't really agree with them doing that. I don't really like them doing that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what they've done. So I think I'm going to send Raisin to work alone today because I don't need to go in to get like anything else for the promotion so i might just send her there and i'll stay home and like take care of babies and stuff maybe brand can work from home and then we'll age up the the infant franzi i hope you understand when i say that i can't talk about the builds that i did for the new pack yet um when i am able to tell you i'll tell you and you'll know <laughs> when i'm able to talk about it you will definitely know but i can't talk about it yet friend so um i hope you all understand that i can't talk about it um, but I will when I can, and you'll know when I can. <laughs> uh, lovely, thank you for the two months, and Joe, Ooh, thank you for the 16 months. Garbage. All right, happy birthday, Garfield! Randomize. No, what if I just make it independent? <laughs> I think I shall. <laughs> I think I shall. But yeah, I really don't like them doing the pre-order bonus stuff. Because it just sucks. Like, a lot of people obviously can't get the Sims packs till they're on sale. Or, or, I mean, what if just you're late to it? Like, what if you start playing the Sims now? 
and and you didn't know about cottage living when it came out well you just can never get the cottage right. living pre-order bonus <laughs> bike like you just don't get the bike you, you could never get it there's no way to get it again like it's just gone no one else can ever have it again like that just sucks <laughs> you know like and there's no way to get it but i just don't understand why they're doing it um, I mean, they're doing it because it's probably an effective way to, to drive sales and, like, offer a bonus to people, but I don't like it. So, never got it even though you pre-ordered. Oh, cutie, if that's the case, you should try and contact EA Support um, and see if you can ask them to, like, give it back to you. Because I know that that was a glitch that was happening to people, so you might have to contact EA Support and try and ask for it. The kid is kind of cute, though, huh? But if you didn't get it and you paid, like, and you bought it early and stuff, definitely contact support because they'll be able to see when you bought it and hopefully they can give it to you. I'm already wearing this, so we gotta wear something different. We can't wear the same thing. And I guess when we call it a pre-order, it's, it's not only pre-orders. They're giving it to people as long as you buy it in like the first month. Um, so you do have a little bit of time, but it's, uh, Still, like, expensive, <laughs> obviously. Um, EA supporter not helpful, bonus is not loading. I bet they're not, but it's, I mean, like, ask, you know? Don't just take, like, oh, they're not helpful, so I won't try. Like, if you're entitled to something, ask them about it, you know? Um, see if you can, if you can force your way in a little. Um... Okay, maybe I'll have you wear this. It's kind of cute. Wear some little orange slippers. What else do we have? Any like cute full body outfits that are orange? I don't like that shade of orange. But I suppose I have no choice. I'll wear it. I wear a fancier outfit for party wear than formal wear. <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's never gonna wear it. So like, it doesn't make a difference. Um, <laughs> so that's okay. It's kind of fun. Fox hoodie? I think that the other Sim is wearing that. If I remember correctly. We got a lot of orange Sims in this household now, or we will. So, we can try it though. Well, maybe I'm not wearing it, I don't remember. But we'll wear it for cold weather or something. Um, you wear this, pants, little shoes. Okay, that'll do. Got some nice outfits. Perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness, lovely Conrad and lovely Lindsay both just subscribed for two months. What are the chances of that? Do you know each other? Or is that just like a really weird coincidence that two people whose usernames start with lovely just both subscribed? <laughs> well, thank you. Um, and Joe, thank you for the 16 months also. I love when that happens, when like there's weird username coincidences that like aren't even that common. It's like when there's two people named like Elizabeth. I mean, it's a common name, but it's like two in a row. <laughs> you know? Or sometimes it'll be like two people named like banana something. Like what are the chances of your usernames being so similar and them being next to each other? <laughs> Just a coincidence? Really? That's so interesting. Well, hey, thank you for the reset of Conrad and Lizzie. <laughs> and loveliest lemons there in the chat. Oh, we're all, all the lovelies are speaking up now. We didn't plan it. That's so cute though. I love that. I love that. Like genuinely. All right, I need to um, do the other kid's bedroom. This kid is gonna have a way bigger bedroom. But it maybe it, this one I was gonna have to share with its sibling when the sibling is eventually born, so. Um, what can we do? I already did a ghost wallpaper, so I shouldn't do that again. Maybe we could do like, I'm probably going to use this for the peach gen as well. So I'm trying to think of like something a little bit different, you know? I don't like any of these. I'm disappointed. Um, 
No. You think the one from the kit? I don't, this one is like too pink. It's not screaming enough orange. This is like very much the peach generation, you know? It's not, it's not speaking to me. Let's think about beds. You know what? Cause maybe, maybe we could do the, um, I guess I used it up here, so I probably shouldn't use it again. But what else are we gonna use for the toddler? It does class this as being orange, but this to me is like not orange enough. You know? Maybe I could try and use this one. That's yellow in your opinion? Yeah, the game class is orange, but it doesn't it's not as like bright as I would like it to be. Maybe I'll do this one. Maybe this is just easier. You know? Race car bed's kind of iconic. I guess it is. We can try and make it work. I'm sure it'll be fine. I can use some nice big curtains. I don't know. I don't know. See, this is not, it's too, it's not the right color. Like it's not orange. Maybe if we just did like one orange wall and then we did like a white accent. Or I guess the orange is the accent and the white is the rest of it. It's kind of boring. I had originally, when building this, made like a little closet. I might do that again too. For the kid. The one with the race stripe. I mean, there is a cute orange wall. I don't really wanna use this around like all of the walls, but we could use it as the accent wall to like tie it all together. That could be kind of cute. I can maybe make that work. Let's try it. I can't put it too close to this because then the fire toilet is gonna burn it. <laughs> Mimi Sky, thank you for the subs. I'm not kidding either. <laughs> we actually can't put it too close to that or else we'll risk the fire toilet ruining it. Um, this is kind of cute and it does tie, but I don't know if that's right for this. Not orange enough. Kind of random. Mm. Interesting, but doesn't really work with the race car bed. I like how this one sort of ties in a little bit more color. I wonder if I could layer it together to try and feel like I've got a bigger rug. Like, I know you can see the line, but it's really stripey anyway, so maybe it's okay that you can see the line. Because it's just a stripey rug, as it is, right? And that ties in a little bit more stuff. Should I do another one? Maybe. If there being three of them, I think kind of helps. Maybe I'll try and like, alt place this as best as we can. Um, maybe I will do it like that. I feel like it with the stripey wall is kind of a lot though. Like there's a lot of stripes happening in here. 
maybe in a bad way, but I really like this rug. So I'd prefer to like keep the rug and do like a solid orange wall. Maybe the third kid or when the kid's older could have the stripey wall. You like it for a kid's room? I guess that's true. You can do kind of silly things, but you think the race car bed is throwing it off? Okay, guys, it's a toddler bedroom. There's only like two orange beds. <laughs> we really need to, um... <sighs> okay, so, so when you're building things for not so very stuff, your options are limited. Um, and, and we need to be, uh, thoughtful of that, okay? I like the race car bed. Um, that part wasn't really up for debate. That was more of like a thing that I was definitely gonna use, <laughs> so. This is the hard part about building on stream is like, as soon as I decide I like something, chat's like, ooh, actually that part is the problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, nobody means any harm, but it's like when you put it at the scale that it is, and then when it's like, a bunch of people as soon as I decided on something telling me to go back on it. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> okay. I do like this little bit. I feel like that might work in a nice orange color. Is the tree still functional when you size it down? All the dollhouses are still functional when you size them down, believe it or not. Um, so you can definitely do that with any of the dollhouses and they'll still work when you size them down. The Sims don't actually play like in the dollhouse, they play like in front of the dollhouse. So you can size anything down. I've never used this dollhouse before, so I'm kind of trying to find an excuse to use it. It's kind of cute. Um, what do we think about maybe like, oh, I guess we could just do something like this. Except I've put it in a, See, that's kind of nice because it's like in the middle of the wall, but then I feel like it makes this dollhouse look weird. But it is cool how it's like framed, isn't it? I think this is fine. We can work with this. We can work with this. Um. How do I want to do this? I don't know. Maybe I'll put the little teddy bear. No, actually I like it over there. Oh my God, it's an orange cat. The kid's name is Garfield. <laughs> it's perfect. It could not be any better. <laughs> Maybe I'll name the cat Garfield too or something. Um, no, just get the toddler toys. Maybe I will give it like a fake teddy bear though. Maybe actually, you know what I'll do? There's that item I really like from Parenthood. I might try and use this. This just makes this area, obviously it's like a bunch of little pretend toys, right? But I just kind of like it. I like how it makes the room look kind of lived in and stuff. Um, and then maybe I can put Garfield over here. And we can do like a dresser or something in this way. Um, okay. Uh, this is a trees and moonlight. Thank you for the subs too. Okay. I think maybe if we got... Honestly, any sort of dresser, but I guess something in white would be kind of good. Maybe if we got like one of the big ones. The kid's gonna have a closet and the huge dresser. Well, it's a little extreme, but that's okay. <laughs> Is there an art table? It's only a toddler, so we don't really need any like kids toys in here yet. Um, 
We can maybe add some stuff like that later once the kid's a little bit older. But I'm thinking that since it's only a toddler right now, we could probably hold off on that. You spot a favorite child? What do you mean? I love this kid too. In fact, I like the other kid better. <laughs> this kid's just- the other kid's gonna be the heir. This kid just has the bigger room, so there's more stuff to put in here. Um... Okay. Um... Let's see... I don't really like... a lot of this stuff. A fish bowl? I mean, I guess we could do something like that, but it makes me feel a little bit guilty putting a fish in a bowl. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll give the kid a bookshelf in between these things. Oh. I guess I could scoot these windows over, huh? It's my build, I can do whatever. I like that. And there's a lot of play space in here. Not that it actually matters, but it's a virtual fish, Simsy. Yeah, but fish don't belong in bowls. The point still stands. <laughs> the point still stands. <laughs> um. Do you want like a little frog on the wall? I don't know. This house is hard. I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'll do the closet and then we'll... We'll leave it. Clothes. I'm just gonna get the like regular base game ones instead of making like... I mean, I guess... We could do... I don't know. The dream home decorator stuff works, but it's kind of weird looking, so... Dream home decorator. Why can't I find it? There we go. There's little closet stuff from dream home decorator that we could put in here if we wanted. Hmm. It's just the lighting on it is weird. Tom, Aries, Andrea, Mrs. and Trees, thank you for the subs. Okay. These are like little, could be little kid clothes, right? And you probably come in... Oh, you come in orange, this doesn't. Whatever, I'll just use those. <laughs> These are very much like adult things, but... Archway? I don't really want to put an archway. Do I have to? This is more just to take up space. I don't mean for this to be like a functional thing or, or to be visual in any way. I'm just trying to take up space. So the room is a little bit smaller. <laughs> that was the whole goal I had, at least, was to make the room a little bit smaller, because <laughs> it's too big for a toddler. When the kid's a little bit older and they're sharing a room with their sibling, it'll be good, but for now it's a little bit big for me. A little bit big. Is it one of the clothing stacks little for children? Yeah, so Elizabeth, I just said that. One of them is little for kids, but it didn't have an orange swatch. This is the thing about building for Not So Berry. You kind of have to balance, like, do I care more about color, about style, because you can't really do both. <laughs> and I prefer how it looks with the orange clothes, because I don't look at it that closely, do I? So, what's the rug in the toddler room, please? It's not one full rug, it's three rugs combined together. Um, it's, it's this rug from uh, the university pack. Um, or is it from high school years? No, it's from high school years. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's like three rugs combined together. Same thing as over here. This isn't actually one rug, it's three that I stacked together, so. Um, it's kind of a tip. Sometimes you can make it work. Like, it works with this one because it's already stripes, and it works with this one because it looks like the pattern's repeating. Um, but sometimes it doesn't work, <laughs> so. Uh, you can try, you can try, but. All right, everyone's pretty much good. We're 
gonna have to feed the toddlers and stuff. Um, Zephyr, thank you for the prime sub. Okay. Okay. When am I planning on playing Animal Crossing on Twitch? Aries friend, we played Animal Crossing yesterday. Um, so I, I play Animal Crossing a fair amount, but I, we played yesterday. If you wanted to go back and watch a VOD, maybe that would help. Um, okay. Do you want to maybe come play in this? No. Play inside, play inside, play inside, play inside, play inside, play inside, play inside. Yeah, the kids are named Blaze and Garfield. They're like orange themed names at the suggestion of chat, so. Poodle is so dirty. Yeah, the dog is always dirty. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, I can only do so much. It constantly rolls in puddles and then I have to bathe it again. I do it every day. <laughs> Bear with me. I try. I know it needs a bath, guys. <laughs> I was in build mode. Okay. Harvest Fest tomorrow. Ooh. Ooh. All right, you need to check the community board and draft a municipal concept on the drafting tablet. Do I need to buy you one of those? No, luckily I have one. Okay, good. Okay, good. That's a relief. Um... Okay, um, I wanted to... Oh, the cat's name is Carrot, by the way. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I need to draft a blueprint here. <laughs> when will Blaze age up? Uh, Shives. <laughs> two in-game days. Two in-game days. I'll give Blaze a bath in a minute, too, as soon as I'm done bathing the dog. Why do those plates turn up in your inventory? Those are a feature from parenthood. Uh, you get them as like gifts um, in the mail when your family sends you presents. Um, so that's how I have them in here. It's because I've had family send me presents. <laughs> okay. Okay. I could probably bathe the toddler now. Give bath blaze. Can get rid of this too. And then. Okay. Um. What's it going to do? One of these sips. Oh, you were working on this. You need to check the community board. Okay, maybe I'll leave. Um. Okay. Let's go to Eco Lifestyles World and we'll check on it. What's the keybind for selling items? It's just the delete key, actually, um, which is kind of useful. You can use backspace to put things in your inventory and delete to sell. So very, very useful and quick <laughs> for stuff like that. Um, Carly, coffee, lonely, thank you for the subs. Okay, we should be able to... Get the work from home day finished. And then what is the question? <laughs> I guess I gotta work with the toddlers on traits and stuff. Um, check community space projects. That's so good. So easy. Okay, that is done. And now we go back home. Did I move Bran out? No, I ended up leaving him here. I think I might let him stay. They're, they're not remarried, they're not even dating. They're just kind of like, you know, hanging out. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, co-parenting icons? Yeah, see? I also just want help. <laughs> I also just want help. Okay. 
Okay, hey, my loves, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, we have had to spend so much time talking about this Hogwarts legacy business on stream the past, honestly, weeks, but especially the past few days. I'm not into it. I don't wanna have to like give attention to this. I don't want chat to have to worry about it. I'm not here to argue with you about it. We've said our piece about this. <laughs> We're not playing it. We don't support it. Um, and I'm not here to argue with trolls trying to tell me that I should, okay? This is, I'm just not here for it. So I'm, I'm not doing that again. Like we've had to, we've been through this like 500 times and I'm over it. I'm not arguing. Um, it's just, this is the, we're not doing it. <laughs> Can I block the words? You know, Amy, uh, me and my mods have talked about this a lot. And I decided that I felt like it made the most sense to not block the words and to just use the command whenever somebody asks. Um, because what happens when you block words, especially with something that's being asked about so frequently, like this, is people are then like, why can't I say this? And they start yelling about it and like trying to type ways to get around it. And it becomes like more of an ordeal than if I just hadn't blocked it in the first place. Um, so that's why I decided not to block it. It's because I figured that um, it avoids the ordeal of why can't I say this? Like I'd rather just put the command and then ignore them. Um, but obviously it gets brought up so much it's hard to ignore sometimes. <laughs> but I'm hoping that after the game comes out and things die down a little bit, it'll be less of a big deal. But um, that's why I didn't block them. That was an intentional choice not to block it. So, um, okay. Yeah, you can't block the word legacy. You could block the word Hogwarts obviously, but Anytime we block a word in chat, it's like, why can't I say this? And they start spelling it wrong to get around the stuff and it becomes an ordeal and then they start yelling and I don't want to deal with that part. It's easier just to like put the command and then let it go, you know? Um, at least that's what I've decided in my many years of dealing with stuff like this. Um, so anyway, anyway, all right, you need to... Maybe you could honestly work on some handiness skill a little bit more. How are the kids doing? Well, you didn't get bathed. Can I just pretend that you got bathed while I was gone? I hate to say it, but can I just pretend that you got bathed while I was gone? <laughs> Maybe you could talk to this bear. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Goldie, I really am excited about the um, the update. Yeah, for Dreamlight Valley. I'm looking forward to it so much. Um, okay. Okay. Do you wanna come play with this? How are we doing skill-wise? We can try and get the communication up a little bit higher. That'll be useful. Um, how are we doing? Performance gain medium. Oh, not bad, not bad. I feel good about this. <laughs> um, all right, how said the 19th, right? Oh, for the update? I think the Dreamlight Valley update is gonna be on the 16th. Um, so next Thursday, next week, that'll be fun. And they teased another one. Um, they teased another one after that about like a new uh, Lion King realm. So that'll be kind of fun. We actually have honestly like a lot to look forward to from Dreamlight Valley, so. We'll be playing it next week, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Okay. Okay. Phoenix, I literally just told you I'm not arguing about this. I'm not dealing with this. I promise you, I promise you, I have spent a lot more time thinking about and researching this than you have. <laughs> and I promise you, I care a lot more about it than you do. So we're not arguing about it. I'm not dealing with it, okay? You can appeal your ban tomorrow, maybe you can apologize, but um, we're not doing that right now, okay? Thank you. <laughs> thanks for the 10 months, and Kaylee, and Jess, and Tom. Thank you for the subs and stuff too. Oh my God, it's literally every day. It's every day, you can't avoid it. It's unescapable, <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Um, <laughs> The amount of like time and energy that it's trying to steal from our streams every single day. Oh, it's almost Eric's time. Yikes. <laughs> okay, let's worry about that instead. Let's worry about that instead. Get some leftovers, all that stuff. 
Why do they care so much? I don't get it, Miv. I don't understand. I don't understand. I said, no, I'm not playing the game. I think it's problematic. Maybe donate to this charity instead of buying it. And they care so much. <laughs> I'm sitting here being like, I don't want to talk about it. We've already discussed our opinions so many times. This is my thoughts on it. I'm not arguing about it. And they just keep coming back at me like, well, actually, don't you know this? Actually, yeah, I do. They're just ta they're taking it so personally. It's like so embarrassing for them. Just stop. Go somewhere else. I already told you how I feel about it. <laughs> like, it's really cringe. I don't get what your problem is. Just go elsewhere. I don't know. Um. <laughs> okay. Um, how are the kids doing? I could probably bathe this one now. Let me see if I can get Eric to come do it. Um. That'll be good. That will be good. Come along. Give a bath. Oh, are you teaching this one? That's kind of cute, actually. Okay, well, stop though, because I want you to work on your skills. <laughs> Come repair this, and then maybe we can upgrade the shower. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Um. Oh, to speed up shower times? That would be good. That would be super useful. Will do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you fix that. You're gonna fix the next thing. You're gonna bathe the toddler. You're gonna play probably a few times and then I'll feed you. Um, what do you want to do? Maybe you could take up a hobby too. You're gonna live like so long. Do you want a new hobby? Maybe you could get into like, maybe you could get into writing. Do you want to write? You might like that. You could write some things. <laughs> okay. Play game. No, no, no. Sorry, I said write. <laughs> um, probably just practice writing a little bit. But he's gonna live forever, so we might as well work on it now. Promoted to doctor, general practitioner. Not bad. We only have to work four days a week. Make 135 simoleons an hour. Do you know what? In this case, the fact that she got this fear of dead-end job and the way it's like, Raisin can't help but wonder if this career is right for her. Because, because, um, the whole storyline of this generation is that when she becomes an adult, she's gonna quit her job as a doctor, and then she's gonna go become a dancer, and dancer in the entertainer career. So, I kinda like that. Like, I kinda like that little idea. Um, <laughs> uh, because then it's like sort of hinting that she's starting to fear her dead-end job. It actually works. Um, Okay. Okay. Yeah, Evie, these headphones are wireless. Um, I don't use them wireless because I use them with my mixer. Um, I could be using them wireless, but because of like my audio setup with my mixer and my mic, I don't use them wireless. Um, that's a very specific streamer issue. <laughs> I don't know how to use wireless headphones with this mixer. It's not the headphones fault, it's the mixer's fault. <laughs> but these headphones are wireless. Um, they, I use them plugged into my mixer, so. Uh, that is why I have the wire. Okay. Um, what do I need you to work on? Do you want to play your guitar a little bit more? I feel like that was one of the things, one of the skills that you needed to finish. Yeah, maybe you could work on that tonight. Just stand in the hallway and play guitar. <laughs> That'll work. That'll do. Um, okay. See if we can get the skill up. I really like these, Wolfie. Yeah, these are the Aurora Collection headphones. I really, really like them. They're so nice. Um, the whole Aurora Collection is really cute. Oops, forgot to feed you. I knew I was forgetting something. I even said I was going to do that after I did something, and then I didn't. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. 
Learning level two. You're playing guitar. Do you want to try and upgrade something else? Upgrade all of them. How about that? Oh. I did see we're getting the long drag race episodes back. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> Earlier I was like, Dan, you won't believe this. And he was like, really? It was kind of fun. A lot of exciting news going on around these parts today. <laughs> yeah, they posted about it today. Um, so, very exciting. Do I watch? Yeah, I watch Drag Race. Okay, let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um, Garfield is very hungry. I'm feeding you. Hurry up and eat then. I told you to go get some. What's your problem? This is your fault. Are you eating? Okay. Thank you. And then you can go to sleep. You also need to go to sleep. No, no. Sleep. You could probably stay up a little bit longer. Bran, do you want to use the bathroom and take a shower? Okay. Competition reality TV is fine art in my opinion. Oh, I agree. You know, you know <laughs> that I love some reality TV, specifically some competition shows. <laughs> it is fine art, truly. Specifically Drag Race is fine art. Oh, really Krabby? That's actually so cool. That's really cool. I've seen The Circle, yeah, Ferret. I haven't seen Love Island Australia, so I've only seen Love Island UK. Um, and before you ask, yes, indeed, I have been watching this winter season of Love Island. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, you're tired, go to sleep. You can sleep. You could probably sleep. There's a winter season? Yeah, they're doing it in South Africa. But it's like they flew all of them to South Africa to film it. Um, so, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I love Love Island. Is it worth watching? No. I cannot, I cannot recommend this show to you. I just can't. Um, I need to make a few things clear, okay? Love Island is on every single day, okay? Every day, there's a new episode of Love Island. So it's quite the commitment to watch. It goes on for two months in real life and it happens every day. And it's fun, cause it's like real time. Like they filmed tonight's episode a couple days ago in real life. So it's not like The Bachelor where it was filmed like months ago and it happens once a week and it's boring. It's not like that, cause it's up to date. And because it's so up to date, they can like make jokes about like the memes that social media is saying. And like, it's really exciting. Um, <laughs> but it is quite the commitment to watch. Um, and it is at times very cringe, but once you get into it, it's great. Listen, Shella, I've seen The Bachelor. I don't watch it anymore. It doesn't compete with Love Island. The Bachelor is not as good. It's just not as good. Love Island is top tier, top tier. So, um, it's great. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Where do I watch it? Uh, I use a VPN <laughs> to watch it. <laughs> so they put it on Hulu, but on Hulu it's like a couple weeks delayed. Um, so I don't watch it there. I watch it with a VPN. So that I can be British. <laughs> oh, Graves' long life is coming to an end. It's not actually though, he's gonna have like a million bonus days. Just you wait. Just you wait. Okay, save game. Why are all your house lights on in Sims? Because this morning in game, I uh, turned them on so I could do a Sims bedroom, not in the dark, and I didn't put the auto lights back on yet because it only just became nighttime. Um, so. <laughs> um, anyway. Who is Dan rooting for on Drag Race? So me and Dan have um, the same opinions. Personally, Lux Noir London, Lucy LaDuca, and Sasha Colby are my favorites on this season. And I think that um, a lot of you agree, <laughs> but those are my personal favorites. In no particular order yet. Maybe I'll decide later, but I can't decide yet. So, 
<laughs> um, okay, everyone sleep, please. It's been a long day. Um, oh, I have my email open. Oops, sorry, everyone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. My bad. Okay, thought that was your email. I know everyone's gonna say that. I don't usually leave it open when I'm streaming, so normally people don't hear sounds from it. It's you sending hate mail. It was actually um, junk mail <laughs> to my business email, so. Uh, lovely, just lovely. Is it an interesting email? No. I immediately deleted it when I saw it because it was just junk. I get a lot of like um, fake <laughs> opportunities to my business email, as everyone does. If you've got like a public email, um, you get a lot of like weird scammy stuff of people like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it's like weird stuff. So <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah, not, it's like promote this NFT, but we won't pay you in money. We'll pay you in NFTs. And it's like, okay, so, huh. <laughs> Huh. But I have a lot, I, it's wild too, because I have a different email, like my my business email that I have that's public facing now. I have this one obviously was public facing, so it's still like out there, people have it. But the business email that I have now that's public facing, um, like I, is different. And so now I still get all this junk stuff to my old one because it used to be out there. It's wild. So, um. <laughs> Yeah, I know the fridge broke. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Um, yeah, kitten. It's wild though. The kind of like scammy business emails that get sent to like content creators are different than the kind of like classic scams you might be used to. I'm trying to think of an example. Um, but sometimes it's like they they seem like maybe they're like a fake agency who's trying to get you to sign on to them, or like it's just really bizarre the way that they all act. So, um, stuff like that. Like this one that we just got. Hello, I am the PR manager of, insert. <laughs> this studio is a company specializing in video game development and would like to offer you a partnership. But like, they don't say anything about what it is. They just say like, partner with me. And it's like, okay, but what do you want? So it's just like, obviously not a real kind of thing. I don't know, you get like 20 of them a day, but they give like no context. They're just like, partner with me. But who are you? <laughs> it's like very easy to tell when things are a real email versus like a, I don't know, random, random thing. Okay. Okay. Hello. Go away. Why is there a pooping sign in the kitchen? It's actually a no pooping sign in the kitchen because we don't want Sims to poop in the kitchen, as you can imagine. Okay, the dog is dirty again, so that's cool. Excellent. Just excellent. <laughs> yeah, Bunny, I'll get emails like that too. It's wild the way these people act. Has there been more than one poop incident? Yeah. <laughs> What was the one, Shella, didn't you tweet it? Maybe I could show it to them. Hang on. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. But Shella got this weird email. Um, and at the end, it was like, we won't pay you because you're already getting this thing for free. So like, <laughs> I don't want to pay you. <laughs> it had this like kind of snotty end where they like wanted Shella to like, uh, post about this like random item off of Amazon or something. It wasn't even like a, I don't know. And then they were like, we won't pay you though. Cause you're already going to get it for free. <laughs> so you shouldn't expect payment. <laughs> Why are you giving me attitude? If you're trying
Huh. Okay, we, can you see me again? Can we? We're back? I don't know what just happened. My whole PC almost died. Like my, it, my game almost crashed as well. It popped up like it, I tried to I tried to save and then it like didn't. Dan isn't isn't back still. Did Dan the, actually the internet went down? <sighs> oh no! <laughs> Maybe the stream the in the game thing was a coincidence. Then it has been doing that a lot recently. Huh. I'm lagging. Am I still lagging? Oh no. What is happening? Oh my god, the chat is doing the thing again! I can't see anybody! <laughs> Why is this happening again? This happened earlier at the beginning of the stream! How am I supposed to know if the stream is up or not? <laughs> Mods, can you see me? Okay, yes. Let me try and refresh the page a few times. Maybe this is a sign that I should stop trying to stream right now. <laughs> if I can't see the chat again, and after the internet just died once. Okay, I think it's loading the chat again. I'm liking Bibble, we can see you. We see you when there's no lag. Okay, well. Sometimes I can see you. <laughs> Apparently not always. But maybe I should... No lag for you? Maybe it is on their end. I don't know. My, I mean, the internet did die, so... I'm trying to decide how to best handle this. My stream didn't even go down. Did the stream not go down? What happened to it? It was my OBS completely disconnected. I was sitting here watching my OBS turn red and then say Dis disconnected, trying again in five minutes. Trying again in, or five seconds I mean. It just froze. Oh, really? Huh. Well, OBS completely disconnected. Um, had the no cam I cut all like the Twitch thingy, yeah. I think this is causing me too much stress to try and continue. <laughs> I think- oh, hi, Snap. I think that I might be too overwhelmed to try and continue. <laughs> I think I don't know if I'm cut out for this right now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm cut out for the chat disappearing and the stream dying. I'm not- I don't know. <laughs> I think this might be enough for me today. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Having tech issues is really stressful. I don't know what happened, so I'm worried that it's gonna happen again. And hey, look, this way, if we leave now, none of my sims will die. Which is maybe a good thing. <laughs> maybe it's a win for them if nobody dies. <laughs> uh, okay, well, tomorrow uh, we were gonna, what was I gonna do? Build in the sims or something? Yeah, we're gonna build in the sims tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Um, we'll do some sims building, maybe that'll make up for it. Yeah. Um, I'm so sorry, besties. This is really unfortunate, unpleasant timing. <laughs> this is not good. Um, okay, let me go see who all is live. Maybe we can find somebody to raid. Um, hopefully we don't have any issues tomorrow because I'm over it. Thank you for hanging out, by the way, Snap. Very kind of you. Um, oh, do you know what? I think I might go and raid how about we go over and say hi to bella it looks like bella's doing a 12 hour stream which might be kind of fun i don't know what we're up to in the game but we're playing sims and doing a 12 hour stream we got four hours left um so that could be kind of fun to go over and say hello to yeah um but i guess i will catch you all tomorrow we'll do some building um and hopefully, um, hopefully, 
all will be well. <laughs> okay? Maybe it was snapped. Did you unplug the router? Could you imagine? <laughs> no, the router is in Dan's room, so we would know. <laughs> we would know if she unplugged it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Anyway, um, thank you for hanging out, everybody. Uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow. So sorry that my stream died for a second. This sucks. Um, and I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Goodbye.